Hello, Deanna here, and thanks so much for being here. In today's video, I am going to be doing a book review of the book Circe by Madeline Miller. And as you see here a while, I am going to be providing my review. I'm also drawing in my reading journal and what I am doing is I am drawing a copy of the cover of the book. I thought that was a pretty cool cover and so I wanted to go ahead and try to duplicate that as best as I can in my reading journal. So before I get into anything I'm going to go ahead and read out a brief summary of the book. As the daughter of Helios and seen as a lesser goddess herself, Circe has always been overlooked. Soon she realizes she has powers beyond the ordinary, ones she thought. Her father and Zeus make a deal to banish her to an island. Left alone to fend for herself, she explores her witchy powers. Over the years, a particular man comes to her island and is able to break through her defenses. She is then left with an unexpected gift. A gift she never imagined and would do anything to protect. She'll even fight the gods themselves. I love Greek mythology and I will admit I was pretty ignorant to the story of Circe. Uh, Circe is seen as typically a secondary lesser like goddess um, as usually the stories of Greek mythology tend to center a lot around the heroes and the gods and the men. So in typical Madeline Miller fashion, she has created a very compelling story with the main character, Circe. I absolutely loved this book. I found it really warm, engaging, and fascinating, and I really loved the character of Circe. I thought she had such resilience and courage and strength, and I also loved how Madeline Miller has done before, how she's really just taken a secondary character that you don't really think of very much, and she has created this whole story and given so much more of a voice to the character. She did a great job of that in A Song of Achilles, and I think she did an even more phenomenal job of that in Circe. There is definitely a reason why this book has been all over the place. It is a really great read. I was absolutely in love with it. I loved seeing that different side of the goddess Circe, and I loved the take that Madeline took to let us be able to explore Circe and get to know her in a much deeper way. So I really love that. I love that ability to do that. And then I also love just how much she took the different characters and put them in there. There's so many different characters. I can't get into them all though or else um, it's really just going to give away a lot of the plot. But if you read or know anything about the Odyssey, then you do know some of who Circe interacts with, you know, and there's just so many tales that are thrown in, like much like the story of Daedalus and the labyrinth on the Minotaur, and just that Circe is the daughter of Helios, and just all of that played into it is just so wonderful. I was just so engaged in this story. I absolutely loved it so much. Um, I found myself a lot more engaged in this one than I was in A Song of Achilles. A Song of Achilles was still great and I rated it four stars, but this one was just so mesmerizing. I, I really absolutely fell in love, like I said, with Circe and just some of the things she was going through. And I really was actually sad that I didn't read this sooner. So some of the reasons that I loved the character of Cersei was that she is a very underdog-like character. And I cried at so many of the scenes that just had her dealing with some of the things she was dealing with. I mean, she is banished to an island by herself and she has to live there and kind of make her own way. And just some of the, the things that she comes across and and all of that was just incredible 
to hear about and, and have Madeline's take on it. I also listened to this by audiobook, which I found was really well done. I thought that the narrator, which was a Perdita Weeks, did a fantastic job at giving such life to this story in the narration that she did. So I absolutely had a fabulous time listening to it by audiobook and thought it was so good. And then you see on the screen that I'm just writing more of my notes in regards to my thoughts on this book because I'm just always moved by the tales of women in Greek mythology because like I was saying I think they're so unrepresented because it's usually the heroes and the men that we see and this was no exception at all like I really empathized with the character of Circe and the injustices that she faces in so many ways so I really loved the strength and wisdom that she showed in order to persevere and become the incredible goddess that she becomes so I was just very much in awe of this whole story and I gave it five stars in the style story, the plot, the character, just everything. I think Madeline Mailer did such a fantastic job writing this story and I fell in love with Circe and found myself not only empathizing with her but really wanting to be her. She's so incredible. So I highly recommend this and encourage you to check out Circe if you haven't seen that. I think it's a phenomenal read and you won't be disappointed. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, night, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Thank you so much for being here. Take care of yourself and you will see me next time. Bye.